There was a time not so long ago when all you had to do to replace a light globe was turn up with the old one and get one exactly the same. Choices were limited and we bought incandescent light globes based on the amount of watts or power they used, which also let us know how bright they'd be. 60 watt bayonet fitting? Done. Incandescent light globe sales in Australia have been phased out since 2009. There are now far more efficient light globes on the market. Halogen lights became a popular choice and they used less energy. Swirly compact fluorescent lights, or CFLs, came in. They cost even less to run. And now LEDs are a new and often even more efficient light choice. Technology has changed very quickly. There are a lot more options now and it can all get very confusing. When you look at a light globe package, there are a few things that should tell you. The wattage tells you how much power the light globe will use. The less watts, the less power it will use. Then there are several ways of measuring how much light is produced and how bright that light is. The best and most accurate measurement for general lighting is lumens. This is the most common term used for the amount of light produced by light globes now. The more lumens, the more light is given off. The packaging might also say how accurately the light renders colour. The colour rendering index, or CRI, is a number between 1 and 100, with a 100 CRI rating giving the most accurate colours. So the closer to 100 the CRI, the truer the colours will appear. Then there are costs. The upfront cost of light globes and their running costs vary significantly. Lighting in the average Australian home accounts for around 12% of our electricity usage. Choosing energy efficient lighting can save the average Australian household more than $180 in electricity costs a year. There's lots of information and advice on our lighting pages to help you make informed choices. It's no longer a case of just replacing light globes with what was used before. Time to switch on.